So, you know, monoclonal antibodies, proteins, um, you know, once the concentration starts getting, you know, that 150 to 200 milligram per mil, you start seeing aggregates and, you know, the, the protein doesn't like playing with itself. You know, it begins to crash out of solution. So these hyper-concentrated technologies, what they do is they really dehydrate and, and stabilize the, the protein or the monoclonal antibody into a form to where you can pack a lot of it into the, the formulation without the interactions. Mm -hmm. So you stabilize it um, and you're able to get, you know, 400, 500, sometimes 600 milligram per mil. Um, so, you know, twice as much as you traditionally would. So it's a, it's a huge game changer in, in the field of, um, you know, monoclonal delivery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, you know, I think the way the, one of the ways that I think about it, um, being a native Southerner, you know, growing up, we made sweet tea, That's right? Right. That's right? And everyone who's worth their salt in the South knows that you start with your hot tea, you put your sugar in it, that's then, right. and you that's put right. a ton of sugar because that's how you make it, right? Then you cool it off. Yes. Because you can't do it in the other order because no. you won't actually get the sugar to go into <laughs> solution. You know, as a kid, you'll kind of learn you'll get the cup of cup of tea at a restaurant and it's uh, it's unsweet, and you're like, well, I'm going to put some sugar in this, and it's you realize that the of... you know the fake sugar stuff <laughs> solubilizes goes goes into solution yeah. different than yep. the than the real stuff, right? right. So. It, it, that's kind of the the layperson's exposure it to is. this. 